MATLAB doesn't make it very easy to plot your data in grayscale, um, which is unfortunate because that's really how you should be publishing your data because you never know when somebody's going to be either colorblind or um, can't reproduce your graph in, black, in color for whatever reason. So I've got this simple example here. I'm going to run this first section here where I'm just going to make some data. I'm just going to make a simple sine wave. So I'm going to run the section. And over in my workspace, T and Y appear. Now I'm going to, at the command window, or at the command in the command prompt, I'm going to go ahead and make a plot. It's going to come up, and it's going to plot the line in black. So note that I've used the command color in my plot command, and I've set the color to be 0, 0, 0, which is black in an RGB color scheme. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy the second line here, and I've added this plus 0.5 to the color matrix, the 0, 0, 0. So that, is, that value, that plus value, should be between 0 and 1. And so I'm going to do that, and then, then I'm going to go find our graph again. And now you can see that my line is gray. So here's a plot. I'm going to do this. Here's a plot where it's going to loop through values of k between 1 and 20. And each time it steps through a k value, it's going to change the value of the color on the graph. And I've used line width command here as well to make my line nice and fat. So it'll start out black and it'll go to white as we go in steps of 0.05 between 0 and 1 for all of these values. So here's this section. You can see the graph starts out black and I've got to pause so that it steps between and you can see it getting lighter as we go through. So using gray values, different gray values, different using different line widths, using dashes and dots are all really good ways to make pretty graphs.